Find a function in the form y equals a sine kx, or y equals a cosine kx, whose graph matches the function below. Looking at the function below, if we start at the origin, notice how the pattern is midline, maximum, midline, minimum, and then back to the midline. This pattern should remind us of the sine function shown here, where again the pattern is midline, max, midline, min, midline. If we did use the cosine function, we'd have a phase shift, so let's use the sine function. And actually, based upon the two choices of the functions, we do not want to include a phase shift, and therefore our equation is going to be in the form of y equals a sine kx. The general form for a transformation of the sine function is in this form here, but because we don't have a phase shift, d is equal to zero, we also don't have a vertical shift because the midline is y equals zero with the x-axis, and therefore c is equal to zero, which leads us to the form of our equation, y equals a sine bx, where the absolute value of a is the amplitude, and b, or in our case k, is found by determining the period and setting the period equal to two pi divided by b, or two pi divided by k. So let's first find the amplitude, which is the distance from the midline to a maximum, or the midline to a minimum. So looking at the graph, notice how the distance from the midline to this maximum is four units, as well as the distance from the midline to the minimum. This indicates the absolute value of A, or the amplitude is equal to positive four. And again, because we don't have a reflection across the midline, based upon the pattern of midline max, midline min, midline, A is equal to positive four. And now let's look at the graph and determine the period. Notice if we start at the origin and move to the right, we do not have one complete graph of the sine function. So let's look on the left side. Notice how we do have a complete graph of the sine function starting here and going back to the origin. So we have a complete graph of the sine function starting at x equals negative 14, going back to x equals zero. And because this distance is 14 units, the period is 14 units, and therefore two pi divided by b, or in our case two pi divided by k, must equal 14. So we set two pi divided by k equal to 14, and now to solve for k, let's multiply both sides by k to clear the fraction from the equation. Simplifying here, k divided by k simplifies to one, giving us two pi equals 14k. To solve for k, we divide both sides by 14, Simplifying 14 divided by 14 simplifies the one, giving us k equals 2 fourteenths simplifies the 1 seventh, and therefore k is equal to 1 seventh pi over one, k equals just pi over seven. And therefore the equation of the graph in terms of sine is y equals four sine pi over seven x. I hope you found this helpful.